Alright, so positive day delivers. This is Dr. DGD Sunga from Mike and Gains Project. Magandang hapon sa lahat ng mga delivers natin. And do sa first time po tayo mapanood sa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. Click na po yan, Dr. DGD Sunga. And sa lahat ng mag-zoom magpa-code sa atin, online or personal. And if you want to start, advertise, or improve your business, message ka na 0939-525-4311 or sa aking every page, Dr. DGD Sunga. Alright, so I have here... Seven, seven rules on how to become rich. These are the rules that used by great people, rich people, successful people, and some of these ginamit din natin na gusto kong makatulong sa lahat na gusto kong umaman, di ba? Maging successful. Sabi ko nga, walang masama when you desire to become rich. Remember, there are four goals na dapat ginagawa natin sa buhay natin. That is how to make money, how to have freedom, how to be happy, and how to have mission in life. So, yung apat na yan, yan dapat natin pinagkakabalahan, okay? Because if you have money, uh, you, you, have, you can have freedom, you can have uh, happiness, and you can do missions in life, okay? Alright, so, uh, muli, bago yun natin ibigay yung pito na yan, I am in transition. So, my first Let's Go Masterclass will be on March 21. Uh, transition your life from ordinary to extraordinary. Yan, so, then yun malalaman paano ba mabagong buhay natin to have this part. Yung apat na yan kasi, ano lang yan eh, ang uh, tawag dito, uh, output lang, result lang, nung transition sa buhay mo. Unless you transition your life, you cannot have this four. Money, freedom, happiness, and mission. Kailangan may pagdaanan mo na time process. How to do that process, yan ang didiscuss natin. March 21, sa Robinson's Pampanga po yan, for only 1,500, may kasama ng lunch and selfie kay Doc G. Okay? Alright, so... So, simulan na natin. And uh, ngayon, i-upload na natin pala ang ating uh, special uh, uh, vlog for COVID-19, uh, cor uh, coronavirus disease 19. So, nagbigay lang tayo ng mga kundi information about that. Kasi, alam ko ngayon, marami na cancel ng transaction. Like, in my case, I canceled three seminars this week. I canceled two meetings. And I canceled uh, other things na dapat natin gawin, puntahan, bilhin. So, na-cancel tayo lahat because of that. So, safety first muna tayo ngayon, okay? So, what's it? And uh, ilang minuto na lang, lalabas na siya, okay? Alright, so, first is the rule of 47, okay? Rule of 47. What is the rule of 47? Lalo sa lahat ng mga empleyado. So, sa lahat ng mga empleyado, taas mong kamay. Yan. I know, marami ako mga... Uh, subscribers, delivers na employee. So, yung rule of 47, yan din po ang ginawa kong rule when I was just starting 3 years ago. Now, as you know, I resigned. So, uh, part-time part pa rin tayo sa school natin and now I'm a business consultant, I'm a business coach, I'm a speaker. So, nakapag full-time na tayo. Pero bago po nangyari yan, meron tayong pinagdaanan na rule of 47. The rule of 47 is ganito po siya. Yung 47, that means hours. Oras. Work for 47 hours. Okay? Yung 40 hours, 40 hours, ilaan mo yan sa yung company. So, where you are employed, kung ikaw ay nasa public or private uh, agency, so you work for 40 hours. So, lahat na dapat na in-expect sa'yo, uh, you work so hard, uh, deliver mo what are expected from you, what uh, yung gusto ng boss mo, gawin mo talaga. Uh, you have to do that. Okay? Other, otherwise, hindi ka magtatagumpay. Kung hindi ka magsiseryoso sa work mo, you can't be successful. Kasi that's your first, first, ano yan eh, first task, first, uh, first team, first mountain na dapat mo makakangkor. Okay? So you need to work 40 hours. And you 7 hours, anong gagawin ko doon sa 7 hours? 7 hours, this is what you're going to do. You're going to work for yourself, for your own success, for your own, uh, personal development. Yun yung 7 hours. So, for 7 hours, you do the thing, right? You read, uh, motivate yourself, uh, you do some hustle, you do side side job. Diyan mo lang simula, mapapagod ka talaga eh. Alam mo, mapapagod ka talaga eh. Kaka-hustle and everything. Pero time will come, hindi ka na mapapagod. You'll have a relaxed life. So, like now, I'm this is what I'm enjoying right now. So, pwede tayong magising ng late, tapos magkapi ng matagal. So, Today is Tuesday, pero nandito tayo ngayon, wala tayo sa office, wala na tayo sa ibang work, so uh, meron na tayong uh, freedom to do whatever I want to do. Pero, mahirap din po ang pinagdaanan ni Rockstar. <laughs> mahirap din pinagdaanan natin for 3 years. Hindi lang 3 years. Matagal, pero in 3 years na yun, uh, yun talaga yung in-apply ko yung 47 rule. I heard it first from Gar Grant Cardon, na... Uh, 
you can resign, you excel in your work, you have to conquer your work, then seven hours you work for yourself. You work for something that can make you rich sooner. Like, for example, in my case, I work for uh, seven hours, like uh, the first part of first three years ago, first quarter, siguro yun, first six months, I worked uh, so hard on my YouTube channel. I wrote my book, my first book, How to Embrace Transformation. First, kasi may parating na second, this is my book, How to Embrace Transformation. Uh, wala nang alam pong ano eh, uh, iba pang ano, <laughs> copy. So, siguro mag, mag -re reprint tayo niyan, How to Embrace our Transformation. So, yun yung ginawa natin, then nag-coach tayo, and everything. So, for seven hours, I did it. More than seven hours. Okay? So, what are you doing right now? You use your skills sa gabi to earn more money. Okay? To... You read to improve yourself, di ba? Magmature tayo, maging mas masipag tayo. Make it. The first rule is rule of 47. Okay? Alright, so second rule is the rule of one hour. So, one hour. What is one hour? Ito yung, di ba, misa meron tayong mga projects na naisip, bagong bagay na naisip, business concept, or new ideas na pumahas sumagi sa isip natin, and you believe on that craft. Naniniwala ka dyan. So, you have to execute that. So every day, maglaan ka ng one hour. One hour a day for that project. Ulitin ko when I want to do my book, so gusto ko siya talaga ma-publish, I work for one hour. 30 minutes a morning. I woke up uh, at least 30 to 40 minutes earlier than my usual time. So nagsulat ako hanggang sa gabi. Hanggang sa ma-publish siya for five weeks, natapos ko po siya. So if you have something in your mind, like you want to start your e-course, uh, you want to venture into online business or you want to learn social media marketing you want to learn uh, how to become the next rockstar speaker uh, how to do all these things so maglaan ka ng one hour a day and you work on it you one hour na yun, devoted for that project okay kasi alam nyo pag hindi ka naglaan ng one hour para lang siyang sumagi sa isipan mo na hindi na siyang hindi siyang matutupad according to statistics every day daw uh, 70,000 thoughts are passing our mind. 70,000. Dami, no? Dami natin naisip. Kung meron ka naisip na isang idea, idea, go capture it. Okay? You capture it and do it one hour a day. Right? So, kung ano man yan, I don't know. So, you, you, you do it, you write it down. Uh, then, one hour a day before you go to bed or lunch break or I don't know, in the morning, if you are not working, maglaan ka ng one hour to do that. Okay? So, that's the second rule. Next rule, the third rule is Ito, in relation to this is the 5 second rule. Okay, this is by Mel Robbins. Okay, mayroong book si Mel Robbins. Uh, alam nga lang makita sa, sa Manila sa National Bookstore. So, help me nga po kung meron kayong access. Like, yung isa kong book, tinulungan lang ako ng isang deliver natin, The Millionaire's Habit. Saan na ba yun? Uh, tinulungan ako ng isa sa mga delivers natin na maka, anong tawag dito? Uh, maka-avail. So, if you want to help me, please, the rule of, the five-second rule. Ganito. Sabi ni Mel Robbins, when you think of something, di ba kanina sinasabi natin, may naisip ko yung bagay, in five seconds, pag wala kang ginawang action, mawawala yan. Kasi yung brain natin, ayaw tayo nahirapan yan eh. So, kung may naisip ka na isang bagay, okay, so, it's either you write it, you talk to people concerned, o gawin mo na agad. Kasi pag, pag di mo ginawa, walang mangyayari sa'yo. Di ba sabi nga ni Jack Ma, Sa gabi daw, ang dami natin gustong gawin, ang dami natin gustong magawin sa buhay natin. But the next morning, you will be doing the same thing in your life. Ginagawa pa rin natin. Wala tayo, gusto natin simula ng online selling, naisip natin, pero kinabukasan, ayaw na natin. Kasi nga, lumipas na yun in 5 seconds. In 5 seconds, pag hindi ka nag gumawa ng aksyon, wala na mangyayari sa'yo. Alam nyo, kaya sa dami ng ano ko, I, I wish I can show you everything here in my room. Yung whiteboard ko doon, puro yung sulat, dahil kong papel, lahat na yan, sa bag ko, hindi ako pwede umalis na walang sulatan. Kasi sinusulat ko lahat ng mga bagay na naisip ko. Ito po, like to, pang ilang bili ko na to eh. So, lahat ng mga naisip ko, while, misa na, while I'm driving, like kanina, tumabi ako sandali. Tumatabi naman po ako, mga delivers, don't worry. Sulat ako ng something na gusto kong gawin sa buhay ko. So, sabi ko, I want to do this. Kanina, I want to vlog it. So, i-vlog natin yan, yung topic na yan, okay? Alright, so, five-second rule. Pag may naisip ang brain mo, tawagan mo na yung gusto mo mag business partner. 
tawagan mo na yung kliyente mo, meron kang gustong proposal. Alam niyo, kapag may mga business partner ko, tinatawagan ko na agad, may message ko na yung pag may naisip ako. Like Enspire and Sir Harold. Hi Sir Harold, kapartner natin yan. Enspire is IT Management and Solution Company. So sa lahat ng mga nangailangan ng software, like if you are in school, uh, ID system, enrollment system, uh, library system, kung ikaw company, you need inventory, POS, so kaya yung i-provide ng Enspire. Si Sir, nagpapasalamat ako misa na hating gabi, nag may naisip ako, Sir, gawin natin ito sa ating, mayroon kasi yung bagong putap na company and I'm a board member. So, yun, text agad ako, di ba? So, something like that, alright? Okay, anong number na po tayo? Number four? Number four, the rule of three, okay? The rule of three. Ano na may rule of three daw? The rule of three, alright? Ang rule of three, ito daw po siya. Alimbawa ngayon, Magbabanggit ako ng seven things, seven rules or eh, kung ilang man rules to. Or umatay ka ng seminar, or meron kang kausap. Di ba dami natin narinig, ang dami natin napanood sa YouTube and everything. So hindi natin lahat ma-absorb, hindi natin lahat magawa. Ang rule of three, ganito po siya. You cheat, you choose, pick three, and then you apply it. Alamawa ngayon, makita mo, magpresenta ako sa'yo ng, tatlo, ng pito. Pumili ka ng tatlo, kahit hindi lahat. You pick three, then you do it. Nakamitin mo yung boss mo, ang dami niya sinabi yung word of wisdom, parang yung boss lang namin, si, si Ma'am Flora, ma So, ang dami, alam niyo, ang daming word of wisdom ni Ma'am eh, sulat-sulat, di ba? So, pag namimitin kami, ganito, ang dami. Ang dami na din natin nakukuha sa kanya. Uh, so, pumili tayo ng tatlo. May nakausap ka, boss mo, supervisor mo, may nakausap ka ng tatlo, you pick the three, then you apply them. May na, bumili ka ng libro, may nakita ka, ang daming maganda doon, ang daming lines, you get three, then apply. Rule of three. Kahit yung tatlo lang na yun yung ma-apply mo, eh, that will make a lot of difference sa buhay natin. Ang mahalaga, meron tayong bagong gagawin. Di ba? Bukas kaila may bago ang gawin. Mamaya dapat may bago kang gawin. Di ba? Ulit-ulitin natin ang sinasabi ni Jim Rohn sa atin. Jim Rohn, if you are doing the same thing every day for the next five years, you'll have the same life. So, kailangan you pick three para mabagong buhay mo. Para bukas, iba, meron kang ibang gawin. Para on the next five years, you'll have different life more successful life. Okay? Alright, so next is another rule is yan, the rule of 100. Ito kapon lang, rule of 100. Kapon ko lang ito na panood sa alux.com, YouTube channel siya. Ganda nun, you, you visit that, alux.com Sabi niya nila doon, it is a place where future billionaires meet. <laughs> future billionaires uh, na meet. Okay? So, doon do nakikita-kita eh. So, malay mo naman maging billionaire tayo. <laughs> Di ba? Okay, so, uh, nabanggit po doon yung rule of 100. Sabi niya doon, if you have 100 hours, 100 hours, you have 3 jars. One, yung jar na isa is, you are good at, you are average, not good. Mean, one skill. Sa first jar, ito yung skill na you're very good about it. Talagang master na master mo yung bagay na yan. For example, a writer. So, ang galing mo magsulat. Kahit na nakapigit everything, kaya mo magsulat. Okay? Yung isa naman, average ka lang. Average ka lang sa si skill na yan. Like IT, pagkakano, uh, technical skill. So, average ka lang. Yung end naman, itong no, no knowledge ka talaga. Like, let's say, play instruments, music, zero knowledge ka talaga. So, the question is, the challenge is, saan mo lalagay mo 100 mo? Dito sa good ka, average, or not good at all. So the wise person, the more successful people, they choose they are where they are good at. You spend the 80% of your time here. Kasi ito ka na eh, very good ka na dyan eh. Yan na eh, yan na, kumbaga yan na nga yung gift sa'yo ni Lord. Dyan ka na perfect. Dyan ka na above average. Okay? So you need more time. Because you are earning money from it. Dito ka na kumikita eh, sa skill mo na yan eh. Ba't lalayo ka pa? Di ba? Pupunta ka pa ba sa skill na hindi mo naman nga kaya eh? Di ba? Pupusang time mo. Remember, we have only one lifetime. One lifetime. Like yung iisip yan, sabi ko, Lord, limited lang time natin sa urge. So, anong pwede natin gawin? Anong pwede natin i-improve sa sarili natin? Anong pwede natin uh, uh, magawa pa? Okay? So, if you are good in uh, dancing, so doon ka. You, uh, you, you can create your own studio. You can be a choreographer. Uh, marami kang pwede yung gawin sa skill na meron ka. Yung 100 hours mo, 80% dyan mo na ilaan. Like, in my, in my case, uh, miss kanina nga, 
Alam niyo, nakahiga ako kanina, pero hindi ako makakalig. So, maraya akong sugawin. <laughs> you, alam niyo, brain cells nito. Para sila laging tinatamaan ng electricity. Alam niyo, 50 billion cells nito. Para laging sila, alam niyo, popcorn. Laging sila gumagalaw eh. Hindi sila naging stagnant. So, I was about to sleep. Hindi ako makakalig. Uh, marami ako naiisip. So, sabi ko kanina, Lord, sa mga skills na binigay mo sa akin, like speak, being a speaker, vlogger, uh, coach, consultant, and a writer. So, ano yung pwede ko pang, ano yung pwede ko gawin? Sabi ko, hindi na yung ano eh. Ay, sabi ko, Lord, okay na siguro ito. <laughs> wala, wala nagdaga na isa. Okay na ako dito eh. Okay na itong skills na meron ako. I can help people. So, ano na lang tayo. Like for now, ang focusing, focus talaga natin na uh, speaking. Lala, I love to speak. I love to motivate people and uh, business consultancy. Yan, yan tayo nagpo-focus. Consultancy and coaching. Okay? Yung writing nga, medyo naiwanan na kasi Meron ako marami akong gusto sulat na book, pero dito ka na muna. Ang 100 hours ko, dito mo na nilalagay. So, what are you good at? So, ilagay mo muna doon to earn money. Diba? Ito, but, pera, anong gagawin? Uh, Ulit-ulitin na naman natin. I don't want to explain that anymore. Sa so, mga nagtatanong, Doc, Doc, ba't lahat mong sinasabi that we need to earn money? Kasi nga, for you to have freedom, okay? For you to be happy and for you to have mission in life. Paano ka makapag-mission sa church mo, sa family mo, sa ibang tao, kung wala tayong pera, di ba? So we need to help people. We need to buy things for them. Diba? We need to spend money to make them happy. Ganun lang po yung kasimple, right? Next. Uh, rule of, ano to ano? Rule of 40. Yeah. So rule of 40 naman. Ito, napagin ko na ba yung 40? Yung 40, ito po siya. For example, you have, magkasunod siya pag lungsungin na natin, ha? Rule of 40 and 20. Okay? Um... Alright, so, ganito. Idugsong na rin natin, the rule of 10. So, tatlo po kasi yan, na magkakasunod-sunod, magkakaugnay. For example, you have business, or you are an employee, tapos nagkaroon ka na side job. Di ba yung rule of 47? So, nagturo ka, o kaya naman ay kumita ka sa as event organizer, as host, as anything na ginagawa mo, outside work. So, you earn money, di ba? So, let's say, for example, you earn like uh, 5,000. A week, okay? I-apply natin rule of 40. Yung 40% uh, percent po niya, like, magkano po yung 40% percent niya? Parang 2,000, okay? 2,000, hindi mo yung gagasusin. Ang rule of 40, yung 40%, 40 percent na kinita mo, okay, ilalagay mo sa investment. Lalo kung extra income mo lang yan. Kasi, meron ka ng income talaga for your expenses every day, di ba? Nagkaroon ka ng extra income. So, yung 20%, percent, yung 40%, percent, ilagay mo siya sa something na sa investment, business partnership, na it will earn money. You need to multiply it. So, yung sikreto ng mga yaman, what they are earning, eh, nilalagay pa nila doon sa pwedeng kumita. Parang may vlog ata ako noon, hindi ko lang na-upload. Okay? So, pagka kumita ka ng pera, okay, so yung extra income mo na yun, kung kung anong 40%, yun na pag-invest mo, so that it will earn. So, yung income mo, misan, dalawang beses yan, kumita, tatlong beses. Yung ginagawa po ng mga may yaman, kaya kagabi nga, I was watching Valuetainment kay Sir Patrick. Ayun ang pera na nakabangko, parang boring. Yung lahat ng pera mo, nakatabi, nakaano. Uh, dapat nagsisirculate ang pera mo. Kasi nga, diba sabi ko nga, with what's happening right now, ano mo yung pera sa bangko mo? Ano mo yung pera sa, ano mo, sa, ang tawag dito, sa lahat na sa, nakatago sa aparado mo, everything. What? Ano na gagawin natin dyan? So, ang pera dapat nagsisirculate po yan. Okay? para nagmumultiply siya. Ang rule of 20 naman, if you have business, eto business or other source of income, ni rule of 20, yun, doon ka lang may karapatang to spend your money. To spend for your personal consumption. For example, meron kang negosyo. Okay? Dapat nakarecord yun. Dapat alam mo, nang gagasusin mo lang pang travel, pang bili, pang happiness mo. Kasi misal happiness, we need to spend money. So, kukuha ka ng 20%. 20% lang. Kaya minsan maray mo mabagsak ng negosyo, hindi dahil hindi kumikita yung negosyo, kundi yung may-ari, sumobra siya sa 20%, baka mamaya 100% na ng profit yan, nagagasa sa more than 100% or more than 100%, okay? That's rule of 20. And yung 10, of course, that's our tights. Uh, tights pa lang yan, di ka pa nagbigay. So, marami naman mga experts na nagsabi niya, from the Bible, uh, Bo Sanchez, meron siyang rule of 110, 20, 70, maray pa, maray pa actually rules, kaya lang mahaba na eh. So, yung 10, that's your tights, okay? Alright, so 7, 8, 8 ba yan? 8 rules na pwede nga kumuha. Gamitin mo na lagi yung rule of 3. Get 3 here. Doc, ano dyan yung ginawa mo? Rule of 10, ginawa natin. Rule of 
rule of uh, 47. Lalo, doon ako nag-start, rule of 47. I work for how many years, especially the last three years of my life, in-apply ko to. For three years, I work as a full-time principal and dean of academic person in college education. But for 40 hours, in seven hours ko, I work for myself as a vlogger, as a coach. Uh, I work for my small businesses. So ngayon, nakaset up na lahat yan. Dinagdagan ko na lang. So, uh, with God's grace, okay na tayo. Okay? Doon maray pa tayong gustong gawin sa buhay, pero bahala na si Lord. Okay? Alright, so, do you want to become rich? You get three of these eight rules in life. Doc, hindi ko alam paano. I can help you. I can be your mentor. I can be your coach. And I can be your business consultant. Okay? Alright, so please share this video sa lahat ng maibigyan natin. Kahit OFW o dito sa Pilipinas. Para sama-sama tayo, mabago tumula natin buhay. Thank you very much, Universe. Enjoy the rest of the day and let's go, let's go!